Hello, my name is Gary Shotton, and I'm the founder of Inspiring Better Business, IBB Talks, and I want to introduce to you Judith, the jeweler. We were uh, traveling in the country of uh, uh, Uganda, and we're in the mall, the largest mall there in Uganda, Acacia Mall, and by chance, or by God's direction, we were uh, bumped into and introduced to Judith and her partner, Christina. And we started talking about them and asking what they were doing, and they were happy enough to, to give us a, a summary of her story and how she got started in business. I think you'll be inspired. Let's hear the jeweler from Kampala, Uganda. Thank you. Hi, my name is Judith again, and I'm from Uganda, Kampala. I'm a jeweler, and I'm here to tell you my experience, how I got to start my business. I would say this is not biblical or something, but I believe in God. I believe in Jesus and I believe in everything that I do. He is with me and he's having my back. He's always having a solution and I believe you're going to be inspired, you're going to be touched, you're going to be changed. This is how I started my business. I went on, uh, I went on um, maternity leave earlier. I was, I was working so hard for a company, but then I was about to lose my baby. And uh, the doctor put me on bed rest for a full month. I'm a hardworking person. I don't believe in sitting home and wait for your husband to provide for you. I felt so bad that I'm not going to work, but I needed the rest, the rest to save the baby. So what I did, I, I obeyed the, the doctor's orders. I stayed home. Remember, one month, non church given birth, you still have like six months home. You're not working. It's your husband that is providing. So the money he was leaving me for food, I would I'd say I would steal some money to keep for myself. But I didn't know really why I was keeping this money because I really didn't have anything that I was going to do with it because I knew I was going to get my job again, go back and work. But then when I, as I was home, before going back, I was like, but I need to stop looking at just being employed. I need to own my own business. I need to look at myself, being employed myself. So I really didn't know what was coming or what God was planning. Remember, I'm a jeweler, but I didn't go to school for these skills. I taught myself in my own house. This is where I say, it's all God. It's all God. Because he has the plans, he knows the plans he has made for you. So never estimate him. It's all God. So I wake up in the morning, I leave the baby with the house help. I tell her, let me come back. I go to town just to window shop in the jewelry market. I met this guy who was selling jewelry. I asked him, I'm going to buy a, a sword. Please take me to where they sell materials. I had a hundred thousand in my pocket. Me having a hundred thousand is not enough to buy all the materials, but I said as long as I get the tools that I need to do the necklace, even though I make two, three necklaces, that will be okay because I want to see. So the guy accepts, I buy him a soda, he takes me to the market, I tell the lady, I don't know how to make the jewelry, but what you should do is just give me whatever I need to start. I find her making a beaded bag. I tell her, how can I learn? She goes, you have to pay 200000 for you to learn. I'm like, but I don't have that money. Do you know what I could do? I would look at the bag, buy those re beads, go home. I redo it until I perfect it. I try. I taught myself. So I make this jewelry. My son is sponsored, my first son is sponsored by a white friend from my church. When she came in, we really didn't have nothing. I, I, I really didn't know what to do. So for me to appreciate her, I made her a small necklace. She's from Sweden. I send it with my pastor. I, I tell him, this is all I have. I don't have anything but I appreciate for you coming in and rescuing me because it was a rescue. And they take the beaded necklace and everyone comes back is saying, wow, this is beautiful. Where did you buy it? 
I'm like, no, I didn't buy it. I made it. So the sister goes into my inbox on Facebook because I'd opened up a group to showcase my jewelry. I don't have a shop. So I sell my jewelry on Facebook and on WhatsApp through my friends. Everything that I make, I take a picture and send it out there so that somebody who appreciates it, so I just go on delivering. So she goes into the group. She likes the group. She likes everything. So she asks me, Judith, do you have a shop? I'm like, no, I don't have a shop. Where are you making the jewelry from? I'm like, I make it from home. And she goes and says, would you like to have a shop? I'm like, yeah, but not now because I don't have the, the uh, I don't have the capital. She goes, how much do you need? I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm not telling you how much I need because I don't want you to think I'm taking advantage of you, of your generosity. I refuse to tell her and I needed money. She was like, you know what? We have uh, Bible school students. They're going to come and you, you have to sell to them. They don't have to go to other markets to buy from there. You have to sell your product to them. And how much do you need? I'm like, Jenny, I've got this. I'll find a way, but I'm not telling you how much I need. Thank you. So she tells me, okay, I'm going to tell them when they come. I go to my pastress. I tell her, oh, please, Pastor Carol, you know, Jenny has told me of this business idea. And please, can you lend me some money to, I'll pay you back when I make the sales. She goes like, <laughs> really, Judith? I'm like, please. You know, the Bible school students are going to come and they have to buy from me. Remember, my husband has a job. I don't have a job. I didn't know that God was preparing me like he was preparing Noah for a storm. Trust me, this was like a storm that I didn't know that I was going to go into and I was being prepared. She laughs at me. She's like, someone sent money. For you're here trying to borrow money but someone already has money for you here I'm like who I've not told anyone that I need money she goes and like you have a friend I'm like which friend didn't you talk to Jenny I'm like yes I did but I never asked for money yes I told her of the jewelry but I never asked for money she goes and like she sent you 500,000 Ugandan shillings I'm like what and she goes like she wanted you to she wanted it to be a surprise I'm like God you're amazing because I didn't know where I'm going to get this money I go back into the inbox I'm like Jenny what are you doing I didn't tell you that I needed any money and then she was like you know what Judith don't mind if you don't want that money okay take it as a loan you'll pay me back so what I did on every jewelry that I could make 10 or 10 percent would go to the children because at our church we sponsor kids so i also decided to give back so that's what i did i was like okay she was like you know what you can pay me this way on the jewelry that you make let the per some percentage go to the kids i was like i'm okay with it she was like how much because i had to send some jewelry to sweden for her to sell for me and then she goes how much would you would you sell your jewelry? I gave her the price that I give customers here in Uganda. And do you know what she did? She was like, that is too little. I'm going to add in more money on the jewelry. And I God, you're amazing. These students come. My husband loses a job, almost sent to prison. And what was the money that was helping us? The jewelry money. The money that was coming from Sweden, the, the sales that I was making here, it was little. I don't even know how it happened, but God made it happen. I'll not say I made it happen because I'm just human, but God made it happen. So as I move, when people find me at my stall and ask me, how did you do it? I give them this testimony. It is God because he was preparing me for a storm that I didn't know that was coming, but he was showing me, I was like, even though you move office to office, 
this is where you're supposed to be. Because I quit my job of an office manager because of the money that I was getting. I was, the money I was getting a month, it's the money I could make in a day, in a week. Believe me, that is God. Only God. So this is a testimony. I don't want it to be so biblical, but I can't leave God out because he made it all this happen. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. Even when I don't have a shop, even though I don't have like anywhere to put my jewelry, but God finds a way to get me customers to wear a mask. Amat. So be encouraged. Take this testimony. Let it work for you. Don't fall down. You 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 find difficulties. I won't lie to you. You feel like giving up, but please don't give up. He has a solution. Always, he has always got your back. Be patient and be wise in your thinking. Be encouraged. Be hopeful and stay faithful in God. Hope you're blessed.